Well guys, what we have here is a scary black rifle. With all of the uh, hype about it, I'm not one to just condemn something or say that it's wrong without actually trying it, seeing it. So, went and got one. And uh, I have to say, I, I, it, it's a nice rifle. You're wrong, it shoots a... Uh, 223 or a 556 five, round, which we'll pull one out here. This is a 223. Uh, it's a little bit small, if you ask me, but uh, you know, to a medium sized game, it would be a, a, a good round. It's a lot faster, it's a higher speed round, but this is, uh, I mean, quite frankly, I'm unimpressed. The hype that the media gives this gun, the politicians that go off on this type of weapon, um, quite honestly, I just don't see what they think they're looking at. To hear them tell it, it's a, a full auto uh, killing machine, and that's simply not what it is. It's semi-automatic. It does have the um, infamous collapsible stock on it. it. You can get 30 round magazines for it, which is what we have here. We actually, I went and picked up some PMAG 30, and these were $15 a piece, a mag full. And um, we're going to shoot it here in a minute. I, I, we've already shot it before. I've put about 60 rounds through this one. This is not a newer model. This is a DPMS uh, 8-15. It was used. But it's in very good condition. And it, it shoots quite well. I mean, as a small rifle, when I say I'm unimpressed, uh, it doesn't impress me any more than any of the other rifles that I have. It doesn't impress me any more than a, a Mini-14 or a Mini-30 or a, just a average old hunting rifle. Um, it, it's just a rifle and you know the rails that are on it so that you can mount accessories uh, it, it, it's kind of nice I'm, I'm not a and you can tell by watching the videos I'm not a fanatic or just a, a uncontrollable gun enthusiast or anything I do enjoy shooting I enjoy the, the skill that it takes to hit a target uh, the longest shot I've ever had the opportunity to make is 300 yards, uh, and that's just for range limit. I don't have anywhere to shoot a further distance, and um, I, I enjoy being able to practice and get better at it and, and enjoy shooting, and I, I, it, it surprises me that some people out there can't understand that. Um, quite frankly, I don't get NASCAR, but I don't condemn people for liking it. Understand it's it's powerful cars and you can go watch them race and I, I do enjoy road races like the Le Mans but NASCAR just isn't for me but I don't condemn or belittle the people that do enjoy it um, I, I do like guns I like to shoot I like to hone my skill and I guess some would scream that there's a big difference uh, that these are killing machines or whatever well Cars are killing machines. Anything is a killing machine if you put it in the hands of the wrong person. So it, it does leave me a little confused to see the, the venom and vile and aggressiveness that comes out toward gun owners. Uh, I, I've encountered it in person myself. And what's interesting to me is that if you line the two people up and asked which one was being more hostile, it's the anti-gun person that's being more hostile toward things. And it's not always the case. Um, but again, we, we have the scary black rifle here, and, and I'm sorry, I'm just not impressed. I don't see what uh, apparently the politicians and the other anti-gun people see in this weapon. I see a rifle. Um, does it have hunting purposes? Sure. Uh, is it a good defense rifle? In my opinion, yeah. It, uh, shorten it down. You can carry it. It's relatively lightweight. You're in a situation where you do need to, to defend yourself with a rifle. It would be a good rifle to do that. But there's several other rifles that would be just as good. 
Uh, I, I think the novelty of this gun is really that it looks like a military weapon. This is not a military weapon. I, I don't care what you say. Uh, if, if you're going to send me to war or the government decides to send my son to war or whatever, I hope they give them a better rifle than this. Th this is not a military grade weapon. Uh, it's a nice weapon, but it's not military grade by any means. So I, I don't understand the, the venom out there towards the gun unless the venom is really being directed to something else. If the venom is being directed toward uh, personal liberties and freedoms and the Second Amendment and the belief that nobody should have a weapon, uh, perhaps this is just the, the first catalyst. I think because it is so scary, they can rally enough people behind it. But uh, our job, if you're a gun owner, which most people out here watching these videos probably are, our job is to spread the word, uh, behave civil, uh, provide facts, and spread the word, get people to understand this is not a fully automatic military weapon. Uh, it looks a lot like one, and I think that's the appeal to it. It, it is modular, you can change out the lower, you can change the upper, which is the barrel. Um, it's highly customizable, which is favorable, but it looks like a military weapon. And going back to NASCAR, I guess uh, it may, maybe it's a shock for you, but uh, those cars running around out there around the track that look like factory cars, that's all. They look like them. Uh, they're fiberglass shells with uh, car bodies built inside of them. Uh, the engines are not, not... The only thing that is, is factory on that car is the aerodynamics. Everything else is custom built, and the race car is built to look like a street car. And that is my understanding is part of the appeal of it. Someone who owns that particular Chevy or Ford can go watch it race. But they know that that's not actually the car that they drove to the event then out there on the racetrack. Well you should understand that when you see this weapon you are not looking at a military rifle. You are looking at something that was copied. Something that is very similar to. And that's all it is. It's just a semi-automatic rifle that has a lot of plastic hung off of it. Uh, nice, yeah. Uh, deserves the reputation of, of being an all-out killing machine. Well, any gun can kill. Uh, th that's part of their inherent design, and you have to be responsible with it, and it's the person behind it that counts. This gun does have other uses. Uh, just like any other semi-automatic rifle, uh, you can hunt with it, you can defend yourself with it, you can target practice with it, you can enjoy it, and that's, uh, you know, we're going to shoot this in a minute, but that's what I've got to say about it.